So everybody can partake in this, since it's just you and me up here. We'll invite them to participate. What do you think? OK, and those who are online, oh, we got more friends coming down. Excellent. All right, so I brought with me one of these big black bins. Raise your hand out there if you have ever noticed one of these black bins in the church. Yeah, there are a lot of these around Westminster's building, aren't they? Yep, I've seen one too. You too? And some people think that this might be for a wet umbrella when they come into the church, so they put their wet umbrella in there. Do you think that's what it's for? No, no, it's not for wet umbrellas. And then other people see this big black bin and they think, well, I just had coffee hour and I have this cup I have to throw away. I think this is a giant trash can. And they throw their trash in there. Do you think it's a giant trash can? No. Do you all think it's a giant trash? No. So the secret is on each of these black bins, there is a sign. Can you see that sign? And it changes each month. And this one says what? Food for our neighbors, peanut butter and jelly in the month of? July. July. And we are in the month of July. So this is an invitation for our friends, our members, and people that come into the building to donate food. And in July, it's peanut butter and jelly. So I would come from my house, and I would bring my peanut butter and jelly. And that's what I would put in here. And then we have volunteers who come and collect it. And they take it to this wonderful organization called the Westchester Food Cupboard. Uh, and this was a program, a ministry, that a small group of people started, guess how many years ago? I think it was two years ago? 20 years ago? How did you know I that? Saw it on yeah. some Wait, good for you to pay attention to that on the insert. It tells you all about it. We're going to hear a little bit more about it. But some friends got together and they realized there are a lot of hungry people in our neighborhood and in our community. And raise your hand. Have you ever been hungry? What does that feel? It's not a very good I've feeling. Been your whole life, oh my goodness, you need to go home. Like, I'm hungry right now. You need to go home and have some peanut butter and jelly, I think. So it doesn't feel good to be hungry, does it? And the friends at Westminster realized that there are people going to bed hungry, waking up hungry, and they didn't know how they were going to feed their family. And they realized that no one should be hungry. So they said, why don't we invite people to bring food, and then we can give that food and distribute it. Because food can be expensive, right? People may not have money to buy the food, or they may not have a car to drive and go to the store and buy the food and bring it home. They may not have the energy to lug all, look at all that food behind us. If you had to bring that from the store, up some stairs and into your house, that would be exhausting, wouldn't it? If it was just you and you were older. So we have friends who help to get the food to people where they live and where they need to eat so that they won't be hungry. And in just a minute, I'm going to invite Angela Emmerich, uh, one of our co-chairs for the outreach team, and Fiona Allison, who's been with this ministry from the very beginning, 20 years ago, to come up and tell us a little bit more about the history and how this works. But first, let me pray. Holy God, we are grateful for the ways that you work in us and through us. Uh, thank you that we can share food with our neighbors and continue to bless us, that we might be generous in those ways. 